السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو پرائم ویرا پروجیکٹ پلانر تر ٹیوٹوریل آئیے محمد قاسم شنواری ہے نائی ویل گائیڈ یو تو دس ٹیوٹوریل سو لیٹس سٹارٹ ان دس ٹیوٹوریل دی ٹاپکس وی ویل کور آر سکسیسرز اینڈ شیڈیول ہاو ٹو ایڈ سکسیسرز ایکچولی وین وی ہیو این ایکٹیویٹی اینڈ وی ہیو اینڈر سیکنڈ ایکٹیویٹی If we want to start the second activity after the first activity, then the second activity will be known as the successor of the first. You will understand more when we will do it practically. There are many methods to add the activity successor. One of the easiest method is to highlight the activity and click on activity form activity form appears here click on successors then click on add icon the start successor is D0010 click on check icon then the selection of architect for selection of architect I am going to use the another method of adding the successor that is right click go to activity detail and here click on successors just highlight the activity ID and add D0011 press enter ok now close it The third met method of adding the successor is to press the control J on your keyboard. Again add a successor and this time the, we have the successor D0021. Press enter of your keyboard. close it now double click it is also a method double click on an activity go to successor add a new successor D0031 and press the enter key of your keyboard click on ok close it now you can use any method L let me use the right click activity detail successors ok its successor will be D0041 another method you can use the jump button don't close the successor dialog box just click on the jump and it will jump to the activity which you have defined a successor in the previous case you can see that in previous case we have activity D0041 now when I will press when I will click on the jump button it will automatically jump to the D0041 activity let's see D0041 and its successor is C0051 press enter now when I will press click on the jump key it will go to C0051 activity you see C0051 and its activity code is C00 its successor will be C0061 press enter again press jump so similarly you can add different activity successors and this you can also add more than one successors for an activity it all depends on the project manager he can understand he can visualize how many activities he can start at a single time so let me add three activities 
in case of curing of first floor for example there are many activities you can see and they are not sorted just for instance and you want to a specific activity so there are some ways press the control F on your keyboard and find activity dialog box appears here you can see you can click on any activity and its activity ID is displayed <coughs> other method is go to edit click on find activity in this case I have to find C0121 sorry C0211 that is curing of first floor double click on it go to successors and add the first successor C0221 add the second successor C0431 add the third successor C0451 you can see I am just entering the activity IDs and the description is automatically retrieved now let me click on the click on OK and so all the successors are added now I am going to schedule it so for scheduling either click on the schedule icon or go to tool, tools schedule you can also access schedule by pressing the F9 key of your keyboard so schedule it's the project start date schedule now view on screen ok so it's the schedule if you have not defined the successors you will have all the activities in this between these two red lines and it will be said that the this activity has no successors just like an example activity F0601 which is the completion so it has no successor and activity D001 which is the start and it has no predecessors there was some problem in the uh, last project so I have made some changes but the only one of the changes is that uh, the project name I have changed to home one it doesn't matter but just to differentiate I have done this so here you can see that the total number of activities are 62 and uh, data date data date you can see that the date on which we have provided data is 1st July 2008 while the project start date is also 1st July 2008 we want to finish the project by 28th of February 2010 but you can see that the calculated finish date is 4th May 2011 so we have to start uh, some activities which are possible to be started we will start them at uh, a single time so that we might be able to attain the 28th February 2010 finish inshallah in the coming tutorials you will learn how to do so so let me close it save changes you can save it but uh, here I don't want to save so click on no two topics we learned how to add the successors and also we have done the scheduling and this is the end of the third tutorial Allah Hafiz.